I signed on to deliver a boat to the Annapolis Boat Show. Um, I was really excited because I was anticipating a ride on a boat in great condition, basically a brand new boat. Relentless, a Hanze 575, was exactly what I had in mind. This boat had everything. It had a washer and dryer, it had a dishwasher, it had this huge gorgeous master suite forward. The home stations were absolutely top notch and all of the hardware on deck was just absolutely gorgeous and in great shape. It was a really cool experience sailing a brand, basically a brand new boat. Being honest though, the real reason that I signed on for this delivery was the challenging weather that was forecast. Given the gales in the forecast, we figured we'd take the inshore route and use as much of the protection of shore as we could. Unfortunately, we knew we were going to get, uh, we were going to be stuck out in it off the coast of Newport, um, on the way from Newport to Long Island Sound, and then once again going south along the New Jersey coast where we'd just be dealing with the remnants of that gale. Fortunately, you don't have to take my word for it. The forecast can speak for itself. The official National Weather Service forecast for Buzzards Bay, Block Island Sound, Rhode Island Sound, and Vineyard Sound issued at 1.23 a.m. Sunday, October 4th. Gale warning in effect until 9 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time this morning for Buzzards Bay, Vineyard Sound, Rhode Island Sound, 13. Block Island Sound. Gale warning in effect through this afternoon for the coastal waters south of Block Island from Montauk, New York to Montrose Vineyard. Rest of tonight, northeast winds 20 to 25 knots with gusts up to 35 knots. Seas around 9 feet. Off the south coast of New England and Long Island, at Buzzards Bay, hour, wind northeast at 32 knots, gusting to 34 knots. At Montauk Point Buoy, located 25 miles south of Montauk Point, Buoy was northeast at 27 knots, with gusts up to 33 knots. Seas were 12 feet every 8 seconds, and the water temperature was 63 degrees. At Long Island Buoy, the wind was northeast at 31 knots, with gusts up to 37 knots. Seas were 14 feet every 9 seconds, and the water temperature was 66 degrees. At Block Island Buoy, seas were 10 feet, and the water temperature was 64 degrees. The wind was northeast at 27 knots, with gusts up to 31 knots. Seas were 13 feet every 9 seconds, and the water... I definitely go again just based on the forecast. It was a great opportunity, great trip. I had a lot of fun. The funny thing is that the best part about the whole trip was something that I was disappointed about at first. At first I was let down that we were going to take the inshore route. I wanted to spend some more time offshore this season. Turns out the transit of the East River was absolutely the best part of the trip. Cruising down the East River at better than 10 knots, looking up at the New York City skyline and passing underneath these bridges, all these legendary bridges that you see in movies, was just an amazing experience. It was a great trip and that I'm very glad I signed up for. Next year, I'm going to make sure I've got some vacation days to use moving boats to and from the Annapolis Boat Show.